Hello everyone, today I am going to do a very dark, glamorous, smoky eye. I've recently got my hands on a few new products um, and I will do full reviews on them, but um, in the meantime, I just really, really wanted to use them because a couple in particular are incredible. Um, smoky eyes, there are a thousand different versions and I've spoken about this before. Um, today, mine's just gonna be really, really dark. The whole lid's gonna be covered in a dark um, color and then we're gonna add a bit of a sparkle. So I'm gonna start off by using Giorgio Armani Designer uh, Shaping Cream Foundation and this is in number eight. I still have a little bit of a tan, so it is a darker color. To apply that, I'm just gonna use my uh, Real Technique uh, stippling brush, which I love. I know I have spoken about this and I still really, really love this brush. It's great for buffing foundation into your skin. I'm going to take my Studio Finish Concealer in NW25 and just apply that with my MAC 193 brush, just really lightly under the eyes. So just to cover any dark uh, circles or darkness you may have under there. I will go over it again later because I'm sure there'll be a bit of fallout, but this is just gonna cover the majority of it. As it is a glamorous eye, I want it to be quite polished I want to see a bit of contouring, a bit of a bronzy um, tone to it. So I'm going to use my Shantikai Radiance Gel Bronzer and just apply that, not a lot, but just enough to make it kind of look a little bit just polished and smooth. And I'm going to apply that with my uh, MAC 109 brush. So just where you would normally contour, I'm going to take that. Okay, now for the base, I'm going to take MAC's uh, Black Track Fluid Line and my MAC 217 brush, and I'm just going to apply that just on the lid of my eye and blend it out. So make sure you don't have a lot, a lot of product on there because um, you want to be able to blend that out. If you put too much, you're just going to have too much to work with, and it makes it a lot harder. And you do have to work very, very fast with this because it does dry quickly. I'm just going to extend that out a little bit. Not too much, but I do want to see a really nice kind of shape to it. I'm going to apply under my eye some of that black track uh, with my MAC uh, 239 brush and just really lightly just under the eye and as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm going to smudge that out with my number nine Ray Morris brush. So really kind of just blend that out. Now that I have the base done, I'm going to take this Pure Chromatics. Um, it's number 12 from Yves Saint Laurent. Love these um, eyeshadows. I do have a few of them and I will be doing reviews on them. Um, but for now, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use this color, which is a really, really dark color, but it has speckles of kind of like, oh, it's kind of like um, a bit purpley. It's a really, really nice color. So I'm going to apply that just with my MAC 213 brush just on the lid and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit. So just along my lash line. And 
I'm just going to blend that out with a MAC 222 brush. And don't forget to take some under the eye as well. It kind of just softens that line, makes it a really, really nice, like, smoky effect. To rim my eye, I'm going to take Revlon's uh, Grow Luscious and just do the top and bottom of the waterline, and I want it really, really dark. So use a pencil that's quite creamy and dark. Go right into your inner corner as well. Don't leave that. So just make sure that's all done. And then I'm next going to take just a little bit here on the outer corner. Just to make that just a little bit more dark and then blend that. Just make sure you cover all of your waterline because you can really see, especially when you're doing a very, very dark, smoky eye, any bit of the pink in your eye or anything like that, you can see. So just ensure it's all dark. Now, this is the next thing I actually want to show you. It is Makeup Forever um, Star Powder in 954, and it is the most gorgeous purple color. It's just very um, iridescent, quite shimmery, but the color's very vibrant. So I think this is going to go perfect with this look. So I'm just going to open it. So just with my uh, 239 brush, I'm just going to pat that on. So I'm pressing it right in. You can probably see that color. It is beautiful. So just really press that in. Now, without shifting that around too much, I'm just going to very lightly, just on, in my crease line, blend that a little bit. I really want the intensity on the lid, but we don't want to see really harsh kind of lines either. Now, for mascara, I'm going to use my Kevin Aquan Volume uh, Mascara. And just apply a layer of that before we pop on our lashes. Bottom lash flushes are a must for this. Really, really adds to it. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to take this Chanel eyebrow pencil and it's in number 30. And just really lightly just fill them in. I thought you all must be sick of my Anastasia Browies and I better use something else. So I pulled this one out, which is good. Not as good, but still good. I'm next going to take from Clue de Pew this palette. It's called um, Butte uh, Palette Vintage. So it is an actual um, highlighter like for your cheeks, but I'm just going to take a bit from this outer edge, which is a really, really nice soft iridescent, not very, very shimmery, and just here, apply a fraction of it, just up there, just to lift the brow bone a bit. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to take these red cherries in number 217. Uh, they're quite long and uh, wispy, but I think you need something like this for this look. I've applied just a thin layer of the duo glue, and now we're just going to pop that on. And 
Now for my cheeks, I'm gonna take this from MAC. It is called Well Dressed, it's just a powder blush. And just apply, it's a very cool pink, which I think will look nice with the purple. And just apply that mainly just on the apples of the cheek. We added that bronzer contour before, so we've still got a little bit of that. We just want to add just a bit of a cheek. Now for the lips, I'm going to rim them with um, Spice from MAC. Spice is a great neutral colour, so definitely one you should have in your kit. Now on top of that, I'm going to apply Max um, Cream de Chine. I have chopped this off because a lot of it's in my kit. And I'm actually going to apply it a little bit and blend it in with my finger. So really work it in. I want a nudey colour lip. Nothing too strong or bright. And on top of that, I'm just going to add a little bit of Max uh, Fashion just really in the centre of your lips. And to finish that off, I'm going to set it with my NARS Light Reflecting Powder and just apply that with my Ray Morris Mini Kabuki. So this one here. Just in the T-zone. And that's it. That is my dark, glamorous, smoky eye. I had to show you that purple um, colour from Makeup Forever and also my Pure Chromatic palette because I do love those two. So I think they work well together as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Um, it is quite dramatic, so it's probably one for a night out or something like that. But um, definitely, definitely wearable and something you can do. I hope you're all well and I'll see you soon. Bye.